the Socceroos returned to the pitch at their base in Kazan as they begin the build-up to their must-win clash with Peru at the FIFA World Cup. With the review of the Denmark performance now completed, all attention is shifted towards the battle with the South American in Sochi where Burt van Marwijk's side will try and reach the knockout stage. Poll, vote for your Socceroos 11 to play Peru equation, what must happen for the Socceroos to qualify for the round of 16 here's a wrap of day 34 in Socceroos camp brought to you by Coltex. Stay tuned to Socceroos.com.au as we provide daily updates for the FIFA World Cup. The Socceroos were back out on the pitch at the AK Bars base camp, continuing with some recovery work at the Stadium Trudovi Reservi, while also undergoing a light session. For the players who played 90 minutes in the 1-1 draw with Denmark on Thursday, they were spared the heavy running as they looked to recharge for Peru. It was mostly recovery exercises, stretching and light jogging as they begin get ready for the final group match on Wednesday morning, midnight AST, live on SBS and Optus Sport. Goalkeeper Matt Ryan, midfielder Aaron Mooy and winger Matthew Leckie just walked laps of the pitch and stretched with head of sports science Dr. Craig Duncan. Coach Bert Van Marwijk shares a joke with Jackson Irvine. For the rest of the squad it was a field session with a usual warm-up and some passing drills before getting into some larger scale stuff as well as working on their crossing, shooting and finish. Given Australia's dominant performance against the Danes, it was only the final pass or shot which cost the side victory. If they can rectify that in time for the clash with Peru and maintain their level of performance, the Socceroos are confident of getting the goals, and win, which could propel them into the last 16. It would be unbelievable, MOOY told www.socceroos.com.au. The Socceroos have only ever done it once before and if we managed to do it, it would be more history for Australian football. It's everyone's goal and that's what we want to do. It was a great performance. We played really well and I think we were the better team. We just couldn't score the second goal to get the win, the midfielder added. Tim Cahill celebrates scoring a goal in training. The pressure-filled and must-win nature of the clash in Sochi is nothing new to the Socceroos. The Aussies had to come through two sudden death playoff ties against Syria and Honduras just to qualify for Russia, with defender Mark Milligan believing it will hold the squad in good stead against Peru. I think that this group, after everything that the last four years has brought, it's just fitting that it comes down to this last game, as having to win. Milligan told reporters in Kazan. The scene is set for us. While we can't control everything else that happens, I know that we will give absolutely everything that we have. While pair is going to be an extremely difficult task for us, we have the next few days I guess to fine-tune a few more things. Analysis, how the Socceroos exposed Denmark from set pieces to win the penalty read, boy wonder, Arzani lights up FIFA World Cup stage Milligan added, the way we have set up from the very beginning of camp is that we want to be able to control the match defensively as well and that's been very important for us. I don't think that will be any different. We'll get more into the specifics in the next few days. They're still a very good side and I don't think they're current standing in. The group is going to influence the way they play too much. Stay tuned for exclusive Coltex Socceroos training camp photos, footage and insight on Socceroos.com.au or follow us on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook.